At Parsons Brinkerhoff, we provide interns with challenging and rewarding experiences involving real-world situations. This year, 25 interns worked in our New York office in various departments. At the conclusion of their service, some of the interns summarized their experiences in presentations to their colleagues. And the idea behind the Windbridge project is to be able to predict factors like frequency and critical wind speed. And so if you can see from this graph right here, there are a lot of different effects, right? But flutter right here, um, as you can see, is one of the ones that causes the largest response amplitudes. It's also classified as a divergent amplitude response, which means that once the effects happen, it'll become bigger and bigger, such as what you see with this bridge. And by the way, does anyone know which bridge this is? Right, yeah. So this is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Um, its failure in 1940 is one of the greatest engineering disasters. Um, back then, aerodynamics wasn't really a study, so um, the engineers had designed it too slender, too light, too flexible, um, and that ultimately it failed under flutter. And so over here, we've actually successfully simulated the effects of flutter. We did a lot of work with the Americans with Disabilities Act, ensuring that we're compliant with that. It's a huge issue in architecture, urban planning, and civil engineering to make sure that we're ADA compliant, especially as we're getting federal funds. So the civil group does a lot of highway design. This is a New Jersey transit bridge, and we're reconstructing that bridge. Some of the crosswalks down here are affected, and because the crosswalks are affected, we have to go in and ensure that these curb ramps are ADA compliant. What that means is basically, it's easy for wheelchair or any physical ailment to get from the sidewalk down onto the street. And some of the most noticeable, some of the most noticeable parts of the ADA compliance are the detectable warning surface. You've seen these, they're the bright orange and red rectangles. They have rumble strips on them. They terrify small dogs. And uh, they're, they're there so that a blind person using a cane could understand that there's a dangerous intersection ahead. You know, this was a dream come true because over the last two months I have been exposed and getting involved in a grand variety of projects from coast to coast to coast, um, in, ranging from um, going to meetings and taking notes and a um, reinvention uh, commission project with the New York MTA to helping um, rethink transport long range transportation planning for the Alaska DOT to you know, looking at pavement management or you know, doing sanitation research for the New York Department of Sanitation um, to thinking about a more generalized framework for asset management for transit organizations. I was tasked with coming up with a very conceptual preliminary cost estimate for each of the 13 alternatives and they basically boiled down into a high, low, and medium, not in that order, but cost estimate range. So these were then used to populate fact sheets which were delivered to the client a week or two ago and I was able to edit and modify and populate some of the uh, fact sheets which were used to break down the pros and cons of each project. Also of the tasks that I was assigned I gained proficiency in SAP 2000 and AutoCAD. From my submittal review processes I learned about new design codes and standards that I'd never seen before. I learned the importance of communication and organization in my work, basically making sure that people could understand what I was doing, whether it was an engineer, a contractor, or a client, and also making sure that they could easily pick up where I had left off. I learned the importance of sleep, not on the job, but <laughs> being well rested, because if you're not alert, you can make very easy mistakes, and engineering work is very meticulous. Finally, I learned the importance of asking questions and being curious. From my time here, I found, relatively speaking, everyone was very willing to help as long as you're willing to learn. I learned the importance of communication and organization in my work, basically making sure that people could understand what I was doing, whether it was an engineer, a contractor, or a client. And to also understand that a model is really just a simplification of a more complex problem. Communicating your thought process is as important as communicating your answer. I really envision myself designing and implementing sustainable transportation solutions. Everyone I've met at Parsons Brinkerhoff has been really friendly and helpful, and I can't wait to keep these connections in the future. 
Internship opportunities are posted on our website as they become available. Please visit the People and Careers page of www.pbworld.com to learn more.